Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a book haul to share with you today. These books are for our homeschool and the first books I want to share with you are right here. Now Nicola over at White Fort Home shared pictures of these books with me via Instagram and I instantly fell in love with them and I just had to order them and I'm super excited to share them with you today because they will not disappoint you. They are amazing. So if you want to find Nicola and White Fort Home, you can find her blog and her Instagram down in the description box below. I've left links so you can find her and thank her for these beautiful books that she shared with me and now I can share them with you. So I'm going to move aside some of these other ones here and show you these two books. And what's really great about these two books is that they also come with workbooks. So actually, let me show you Botanicum first because you can also get a workbook to go along with it. And I wasn't quite sure uh, how these books were going to turn out, obviously, because it's really hard to see the insides of a lot of books that you want to purchase online. And so I am really excited to show you these beautiful books. Now, these are so nice. They are worthy of, like, say, um, coffee table books. They would look great on display, like on your bookshelf. And of course, they would complement any science unit really beautifully. Now, something that really drew me to these books when I saw them was, of course, the beautiful artwork. And since we do a lot of art within our homeschool, these kinds of books are really going to help us out because we can copy these as part of our main lesson book. So if you're interested in adding more art into your homeschool, then having a book like this will probably really help you out. It's very inspiring. And while some of these look a little bit complicated, I'm going to show you the workbook because it has some tips on how you can copy some of these in an easier way. Obviously, it comes with some content, but I was, of course, firstly drawn to the photo or to the illustrations. Now, we've already done our botany unit just recently, but having something like this on hand will allow us to kind of refresh our memory of the materials that we already learned. So it's great for any time of year, even if you're not doing a unit specifically on this material. And then when we circle back and do that unit again, I'm definitely going to pull this out so that we can add some of this, either the illustrations or the information into that lesson. All right, so I could just spend hours looking through this and I think that that is part of the joy of a book like this is that it is so captivating because it's so beautifully presented that you're likely just to keep reading and keep learning. So I'm going to have this out so that my son can browse through it even though we're completely on to like a whole new unit right now. I think that he's just going to enjoy looking through this as much as I am as well. So let me show you the activity book that comes along with it. This one comes with a really nice hard piece of chipboard at the back, really heavy, and this really beautiful poster that is perforated so you could actually remove it and display it if you, if you wanted to. Then the book comes with pictures that you can color. So these are just kind of like a black and white illustration that you can go in and then color. And then here's like spot the difference. There are two differences between these two images and you have to spot all the differences. Which one of these is not a fungi? So you can circle the ones which are not fungi, which is kind of cool. So some of these, I would not want my child to actually write into the book because it's super nice. So instead of circling them, I might just have them point to them. This is so beautiful. You could probably just take this out and hang it up in your classroom as, as classroom decoration or as inspiration when you're doing this unit. And then it says draw two more carrots. And here's where if you're kind of new at drawing or you want to add that into your curriculum, but you're not quite sure how, this is actually a really great way to do this. Again, it is so nice. I would be hesitant to actually draw directly into this book, but if you wanted to, you certainly could. And you can go ahead and just finish the drawing here so that it matches the first one. And then there's some information on the back, which is nice. So the whole book kind of goes like this. Oh, here's another one for drawing too, where you're using a grid system so that it can help you draw the other side of it, which is really great. And then on the back, it just has more information about it. So this is a really beautiful workbook. 
that would complement the main book and I just wanted to show you some of these different pages here because they are super beautiful and it's a great way to add some hands-on work to the uh, to the original book. All right so let's move on to the other one that complements this one and that would be the Animalium book and workbook. So these this one is similar to the last one with these fantastic illustrations. I mean, these are just gorgeous. Now we just finished our ocean main lesson block and after getting this book, I seriously wanna go back and add some more of these things into it because it's beautiful. The illustrations are gorgeous. This is the kind of stuff that I would copy and draw out with my son who is 11 and or you know if you didn't want to draw you could just have this displayed so that your children could copy these because they're just phenomenal we do a lot with watercolors and you could do watercolors with these or you could do some color pencil drawings but all of these illustrations they're just works of art and what's really nice too is that it kind of reminds me of like say an old kind of natural history museum and even on the front cover, it has like, welcome to the museum, admit all. It's kind of cute. I like little details like that. I wasn't sure if you could see that with the glare, but there it is. And then the activity book that comes along with this is again, that same high quality that you had in the other one. It has this really strong piece of chipboard right here. Beautiful, uh, you know, back page. This one actually is not perforated. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, the other one was. And then you have the same kind of format for this book. So you can use the grid in order to help you draw, has other activities that you could um, that you could do. You could easily remove this page and add this into your child's main lesson book and the child could, could color these in, or you could just have this for any curriculum that you have. Uh, if you didn't want to write directly into the book, you could, of course, just do like a little co copy of it or, you know, black and white copy or color copy in that way. You could preserve the book if you wanted to use it for multiple children or for, you know, multiple years. I want to show you one more thing that I got that's related to the books and it's by the same illustrator and maybe author. Okay, so the books are the books are created by Katie Scott and Jenny Broom, and this one is by Katie Scott. Now these are postcards with all those beautiful images on them. And the reason why I got these is so that when we want to do our drawings, oh, these are gorgeous. And these were actually really affordably priced. I can't remember the price of the books, but they're all from Amazon. And I will leave as many links as I can down in the description box below. But these ones, the reason why I got these is so that my child could, and, and I could go, and I could do this along with him, copy these, use these as inspiration for artwork. And I, I thought that it would just be nice and easy just to have them all. This format, postcard size, so beautiful, so beautiful. There, there are a lot of them. And they're all in that beautiful kind of uh, vintage-y kind of look. It really makes you feel like you're uh, touring a, a natural history museum. All right, so oh, I've got one more in that, uh, you know, by Katie Scott. This one's called The Story of Life, and this is called Evolution. And this one is, again, same beautiful illustrations, comes with information about each of these different topic areas. And I got this also to complement our science units. And um, so anyway, really nice, nice hard, uh, hardback, really good quality. We just finished our ocean unit and I got a couple of books here. Two of them I was familiar with and we really like them because they were fantastically illustrated. They had kind of a nice story to start off the the book and then it goes into more of like the information about the topic and I like that format because it was more lively. It didn't seem as as dry and boring as most nonfiction books. And of course the uh, illustrations were really beautiful. So I got Penguins Strange and Wonderful and Octopuses Strange and Wonderful. 
And though we've already finished that unit, I did want to have these on hand just because they're beautiful picture books and we can read them anytime. And so that the next time we circle back to that unit, we can have these because I was checking them out from the library multiple times, trying to find them. You know, they weren't at my local library. They had to be transferred. And in order to just kind of do away with that hassle, I went ahead and just added these to our own personal library. And while I was doing that, I also found this book and I didn't know about this book, but it looked beautiful to me. <laughs> nice illustrations, really simple. It was only a few dollars and, uh, and I got it to go along with that same unit. All right, I've got just a couple more books to show you here. I know that you have seen this one. This is called Nature Anatomy, and I actually really wanted this one for the same reason why I wanted the other books that I showed you previously, Animalium and Botanicum. For the illustrations and for the content, this is going to work really well for our various science units. The only thing about this book is that I actually was expecting it to be larger. I thought it was more this size, but it's actually quite a bit smaller. It's like a journal size. And that was something that I wasn't expecting online. It's really hard to judge that, but based on it, I really thought it was more this size. It's not a big deal. I, it's just something that I was surprised once I got it. The illustrations, of course, are really great. This would be fantastic, again, to add artwork into any one of your science units. And then it has a bit of information about the different topic areas. So really beautiful, very nice. And I can anticipate that we will use this one a lot, both as a reference material and to, in order to use as drawing inspiration. All right, the last book I got is called Geology and Astronomy. Now there are several books in this series and I'm really excited to get my hands on the rest of them because so far I really like it. Now I've only read about three or four chapters and it's fantastic. So this, these books, and I believe all of them in the series are written by the same author, but I, I'm not 100% sure, but these ones will complement a Waldorf curriculum or if you are looking to make your own Waldorf inspired curriculum, then these would be a fantastic resource. So this one covers geology and astronomy, and it's going to go through basically the author who is a Waldorf teacher. These are basically his notes on the different subject areas when he, when he did these, these uh, main lesson blocks when he was teaching. And so it, it goes through, it's been edited and, and re reworked for uh, print, but it basically goes through his presentations. So when you're reading it, you get the sense that you're in a classroom, but you, it's not a traditional lecture format. It's, it's really beautifully done. Uh, I recently posted this on Instagram and I got some feedback uh, and, and somebody said that they use this, this book or they have this book and they found that it wasn't quite enough content in order to put together your own main lesson block. So as I have not gone through all of this and used it to make my own main lesson block, I found that feedback really valuable, especially if you were looking into getting these as your only resource to put together a main lesson block or a unit study in that particular subject area, you would definitely need more resource books in order to complement it. Now, in general, even when I have a curriculum, I will get additional resource books anyway. Uh, so for me, I wouldn't ever just use one book. If you wanted to use this, it's really, really fantastic in showing you the progression of how a Waldorf main lesson block should be arranged because it's very different than a traditional unit study or even traditional schools. And so if you were new to that, or even if you were experienced and you decide you want to stray away from the curriculum and try your hand at doing it yourself, this is going to be so valuable for you. We are in the beginning stages of our mineralogy unit, which is kind of like geology, but just slightly different. And so I'm definitely going to be using this. I found that the progression of the, the lessons was really different than the curriculum that I'm using. So I'm excited to use this as part of our curriculum. 
Because it is so different, and because this is written in a really engaging manner, I intend to read these lessons aloud just as a parallel to the lessons that we are currently doing with our mineralogy unit. It's not intended to be used that way, I don't think, but that's the way that we're going to use it. And I may end up doing the same with the astronomy. Uh, the astronomy uh, is part of this book. And I have not looked to see how these lessons compare to our astronomy unit. And if they are really different, then I will just use this book as our read aloud for that particular unit since it's written in a, in a really nice manner. Okay, there are many other ones in this series. They are all on my wish list, and as they come in and as I use them, I will definitely give you more feedback about them, but I wanna show you this one. It's really well-priced. I do not remember, but it's under $20, and that is a significant discount compared to a curriculum. So if you were looking to get this instead of a curriculum, you certainly could, but it would not be sufficient for you, in my opinion, and as well as the other feedback that I have received. It wouldn't be sufficient in order to put together your entire main lesson block. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this haul. I hope that it helps enhance your homeschool. If you have any questions about these books or any of the other materials that I've showed you on this channel, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I've also left a couple of videos here that I think that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.